If it's got pedals, then it's a bicycle. This is the stance that many e-bike manufacturers are still taking in 2025, and at the same time giving their models massive power outputs and speed capabilities reaching beyond 50 miles per hour. Today we're looking at the fastest e-bikes coming in 2025 and 2026. Let's go! Frigo X2 Latest generation electric motors enabled modern mountain bikes to reach unheard of levels of performance. For example, the newest Frigo X2 utilizes a 3 kilowatt rear hub motor to reach speeds upwards of 50 miles per hour. The massive 6 kilowatt peak power output lets this 121 pound machine climb hills with ease. While the 19 by 2 inch MTB tires provide a sufficient amount of grip, the aluminum alloy frame can withstand loads up to 330 pounds, while the end frame's 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery pack brings up to 60 miles of riding autonomy. The bike's rugged nature is supported by a full suspension setup, robust hydraulic brakes, and full LED lights to illuminate the trail ahead of you. Ehora Romero Pro 2 Just when we thought the electric mountain bikes couldn't get any crazier, Ehora announced the second generation of the Romero Pro model. To make its hill climbing capabilities reach 40 degrees, the two-wheel drive technology and fat 26 by 4 inch tires were introduced. It utilizes dual hub motors with a 1.5 kilowatt output on each. Besides climbing hills, the dual motor setup ensures a blisteringly quick acceleration to 37 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. While the top speed is capped at 44 miles per hour, with high power comes the need for high performance, 203 mm four-piston hydraulic brakes. To ensure that you won't be strangled with this 150.9 pound behemoth at a remote trail, the manufacturer installed a 52 volt 60 amp hour battery that would last for 104 miles on pedal assist and upwards of 70 miles on throttle power. Vexite MK1R Hand-built in the USA, the new MK1R features a menacing matte black body with glowing LED side panels. Although looking like a lightweight enduro-style motorcycle, this two-wheeler is actually equipped with a set of pedals and can be limited to just 20 mile per hour speeds for public road use. When not on public roads, the 325-pound model gets to truly shine thanks to its enhanced QS205 motor and a high-speed controller. It pushes out 5 kilowatts and enables either 40 or 65 mile per hour speeds, depending on the chosen performance setting. To efficiently handle such a massive power output, this bike gets 4 piston hydraulic brakes with 203 mm front and rear rotors, while a full suspension setup with a 190 mm rear shock contributes to the riding comfort. The installed 72 volt 35 amp hour battery comes with a 5 amp charger that will top it up after the electrifying riding session. Weephead F1 The South Korean manufacturer of electric scooters with alien-looking designs, lots of RGB lights, and potent motors has recently presented a new model called Weephead F1. Despite being labeled by the manufacturer as a bicycle and equipped with a set of pedals, this new product offers specifications comparable to a pit bike. The F1 is based on an aluminum alloy frame with a matte coating that gives it a unique look and uses a rear hub motor to ensure a 50 mile per hour top speed. To endure such speeds, the manufacturer introduced motorcycle grade fat tires, robust hydraulic brakes and a full suspension system with oil shocked absorbers. 
According to official range estimations, on one full charge of a 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery pack, you may cover up to 75 miles in motorcycle mode. In the bicycle mode, you may put to use a 7 speed Shimano shifter and a multi level pedal assist system to cover distances up to 125 miles with electrified support. HPC Bikes Revolution For over 15 years, the California-based High Power Cycles Company has been growing a portfolio of extremely capable e-bikes for personal, adventure, and special ops applications. The Revolution is the brand's highest output offering that can be equipped with rear hub motors ranging from 5 to 9 kilowatts. In general, this manufacturer puts great emphasis on modularity and upgradability so you have a wide range of options and additional gear to apply to your build. This year, the company also partnered with Wayne Enterprises to produce a 27-unit, limited-edition run of the world's fastest e-bikes. The handmade Revolution W-Bike supports an aerospace-grade aluminum frame, an EXT suspension, a 78-volt, 27.9-amp-hour battery, good for 100 miles of autonomy, a 10.5 kilowatt rear hub motor with 80 mile per hour speed capabilities, and an eye watering price for true Batman fans. My Super E Bike Cyber. This small e-bike company was started by an internationally famous DIY builder striving to pack as much performance as possible inside a compact e-bike frame. My Super e-bike developed three awesome two-wheelers. The most capable of the bunch is the Cyber. It boasts a mid-mounted motor with a 27 kilowatt output reading and a 92 volt 40 amp hour battery with a built-in charger. This three kilowatt charger can get you back to trails in about 60 minutes. With such powertrain components, this 220-pound bike could sprint to 72 miles per hour speeds and cover distances up to 50 miles. Finally, if you have some basic tools in your garage and want to save money by getting your hands dirty, the company sells a blueprint and a list of parts that you can use to purchase and make your own cyber bike at home. Spark Cycle Works Brute Meet the Brute, one of the most versatile moped-style e-bikes developed by the Connecticut-based Spark Cycle Works. As the name implies, the Brute features a sturdy aluminum frame with a bare titanium finish, an elongated skateboard seat, a motorcycle suspension fork, 16-inch wheels with knobby all-terrain tires, a motorcycle-grade swing arm, and a retro-inspired headlamp. By the way, the manufacturer lets you choose between a round mono headlight or dual round headlights. The rear wheel hides a powerful 4-kilowatt e-motor that could be limited for use on public roads. In this mode, you can expect to reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour on the throttle power. Though in off-road conditions, the restrictions are limited, letting you roam the trails at speeds up to 55 miles per hour. The bike tips the scales at 165 pounds with an installed 2.2 kilowatt hour battery pack good for up to 75 miles in the urban cycle and up to 40 miles in off-road conditions. Although the Brute is equipped with a set of pedals, the electrified pedal assist is not available. Luckily, a 10 amp charger as well as a full color control display, full LED lights and powerful brakes with a regen feature come as standard equipment. Thank you for watching till the end. Electric Mobility is developing at a breakneck speed. Give us a follow and check related videos on the screen so you don't miss the hottest newcomers and product reviews. Have a good one and see you next week.